really hits home. Kickoff time almost upon us. A colossal game featuring two teams who demonstrably belong on the big stage. We know they can deliver, but will they do it with the pressure on and the fans wired in? Nottingham Forest. The action is next on EA TV. Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's Nottingham Forest, and they face Sunderland. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And the starting 11 for Sunderland. Well, it's certainly a back four, but I think we'll see a lot of rotation in midfield. They just need to have a good understanding about when to support the front player and when to drop that little bit deeper. It certainly looks like a 4-5-1 to me. Chris Wood. He could pick out a teammate. Nicely timed tackle. They knew they wanted to apply the pressure, and they did. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Daniel Ballard. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, the game plan of the coach is to get the ball into the front players as quickly as possible. He is the player to do it. He's brilliant with his back to goal. We'll link up the play, and he's key to the way they play the game. Adil Aushish. He must finish! Oh, he saved it well. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, the header not troubling the goalkeeper. Well, I have to say, the defender has done just enough there to put him off. Ryan Yates. Chris Wood. Chance to play it in. And moving the ball nicely. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. Adil Aushish. Styles. He's in with a chance. A goal! On the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, here it is again, and the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. So, underway again here, 1-0 the score. Ryan Yates.
It's Callum Hudson Odoi. Just the challenge that was required. Adil Aushish. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Ryan Yates. Feeding it through. And deflected beyond the byline. So a corner here. It's a short one. Bolly. Yates. And Chris Wood. Opportunity. And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, here's the replay. And just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. A very effective challenge put in. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. No yellow card, instead a firm warning from the official. A deft clearance. A chance to whip it in. Attacking with vigor. Oh, in with a chance. Clearance left a bit to be desired. Well, they can keep possession now. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Aushish dropping deep to collect the ball. Callum Styles. But he keeps going. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, an honest assessment, Stuart, would be that he hasn't really been on top of his game and attack. Well, I've been disappointed with him so far. He just hasn't worked hard enough to receive the ball, and as a result, he's hardly had a shot on target. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. So they had attacking momentum, but not so. Jack Clark. Aushish. Superb looking pass. Well, you've got to give him credit for that piece of defending. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. And playing it through. Oh, that's a solid piece of defending when it looked as though it might go wrong for them. Aushish. Yates. Wood. And wasteful there from Forrest.
Willie Bolly. And it's with Gibbs White. Celebrating your birthday. Happy birthday, Jay. It's one thing to sit deep, it's another thing to sit that little bit too deep. And they've given back possession easily. Jack Clark. And Forrest will get the throw in. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. And pressing from the front. And Sunderland with the ball again. Morgan gives White. Good with it. Moving into the advanced position. Has the strength to hang on to it. Ryan Yates. And it's with Gibbs White. And it's a quality pass. Just wasn't going to part with the ball. Well, fantastic reflex action. Just wanted to get it out of there. Now they have possession in a good area of the pitch. They keep plugging away. Bodies forward and the break looks on. A danger here as he runs at them. Onayan. Moving it forward. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Hudson Odoi. It's looking promising. Just ten minutes remaining here. The emphasis very much on attack. And up for grabs off the keeper. A oh, tremendous block. Now just the tackle that was needed. Well, time is running out to get this winner. But the fans certainly believe it's coming. Just listen to the noise. What a fantastic finish we could have here. Chris Wood. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. And with that, the 90 minutes have come to an end. An even contest.